Cans are like the hottest thing for bevies right now, but like, why? Oh, hey, I'm Coleman. Welcome to the lab, the October lab. Today, we're gonna figure out why cans are so fetch and bottles are totes wretch. There are many reasons, so we're gonna keep score. Let's start with my personal favorite reason. Cans are much more durable when filled and sealed. Bottles, for obvious reasons, are more prone to breakage. If you can condition and mess up your measurements, you're gonna have a mess. If you screw up bottle conditioning, it can actually be dangerous. I almost lost an eye from a bottle breaking. True story. I had to get reconstructive surgery. It was genuinely terrible. So, one point cans. Now, let's talk about weight. Don't get me wrong, all beers are beautiful, but bottles, kinda heavy. No, seriously, look, that adds up. Just look how big a box of 240 12 ounce cans is, yet it only weighs about 11 pounds. And actually, most of that is the cardboard. Another point for cans for being lighter. Speaking of light, let's speak about light. Beer and other bevies can deteriorate from exposure to light, just like most things when left out in the sun. Beer bottles are darkened to try to minimize this, but are not perfect. Definitely not as perfect as cans. One point cans. To keep any drink fresh, cans and bottles rely on an airtight seal to keep carbonation in and air out. But one of them seals a little bit better than the other. You'll never guess which one. Cans are completely hermetically sealed with a double folded aluminum seam. Bottle caps seal practically airtight, but again, not as perfect as cans, which can make a difference over time. Cans are not only less annoying to seal, but also easier to open. Most bottles require a whole special tool just to get the goodness inside. That's definitely a point for cans. Do you care about the planet? You should. It's the only one we got. For now. While both cans and bottles are recyclable, cans take significantly less effort to do so. Making a new can from a recycled one can take as little as 5% of the energy needed to make one from raw material. Cans definitely get a point. But to bottles credit, home brewers can reuse them after washing. A small hassle to get them back if given out, and a big hassle to clean, but we'll give them a point, because I'm fair. If you're not reusing bottles, they're often double the cost of cans. Another quick point for cans. Also, cans are stackable, saving space for home brewers and businesses alike. Bottles. Lastly, let's look at both as an option for drinks to go. Growlers are generally the only bottle option for to-go beer. Cans come in a variety of sizes, making them practical not only for beer, but cocktails and other drinks as well. As with their smaller cousins, growlers are costly and a hassle to wash and reuse. On top of that, growlers waste more product, go bad sooner, and take quite a bit longer. One final point for cans. And yeah, yeah, I, I think we have a winner. If it wasn't for fragility, opacity, density, expense, integrity, recyclability, and efficiency, it, it would have been a real toss up. That's all for this time. Let us know in the comments why you prefer cans. If you haven't liked and subscribed, you should know all the cool kids already did. Can responsibly. Later.